everyone so today's video is a little get ready with me kind of like an old school one where I'm just going to do my hair makeup and outfit and I am also going to do a voiceover for those of you who want to like know what I'm doing and know what I'm using and blah 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 this makeup and outfit and everything was for an event the Mecca Maxima opening in Christchurch I was so excited to go I caught up with so many of my friends down there and some new people met some new people it was so much fun so I thought I would just show you how I got ready this morning and if the filming's bad it's because I was like in an insane rush near the end so hopefully you can't tell I was running a little bit late for my flight <laughs> also I feel like my lisp is almost gone but as you can probably tell there's a little hint of it still there so don't mind me I was contemplating just doing no voiceover but I thought I'd better so I'm just doing my base at the moment I used Marc Jacobs coconut primer and then my old holy grail which is still a holy grail NARS sheer glow foundation with a flat top face brush And then I was feeling like being a bit fancy, so I decided to do some cream contouring. First I'm just bronzing with the like middle colour, it's a little bit warmer so it's better for bronzing. I'm um, just putting that on my temples and I put it on my nose and chin and stuff as well. I think I put a little bit on my jawbone. And I'm just blending that out with my flat face brush, the same brush I used to do my foundation. And then to contour contour, I'm using the far right shade, far left, I don't know. You saw the colour I'm using and I'm just putting that under my cheekbones to do a more contoured look and it really works so well. I love this colour. Now for my concealer, I am using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream and I'm just putting that under my eyes to cover up my bags and I also put a little bit on the tip of my nose and on my forehead and chin and stuff just to brighten up my foundation look a little bit and you know kind of highlight my face. This powder is so legit. I'm just using that with a big powder brush. This is a Kabuki brush by XO Beauty and I'm just making that all over my face and it looks really crazy but then you can just buff it out and it just transforms into nothingness. It goes completely invisible but then my skin feels a little tiny bit kind of dry and too matte so I like to spritz on some chill setting spray by Urban Decay just to like you know brighten up my skin a little bit again. I'm also using a little bit of Revital Lash and then going with my Chanel XO palette and my firm blender brush I'm using that light matte color just all over my eyelids just to even them out and kind of like conceal them because I've got like lots of discoloration and then I'm going in with this single eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills and popping that right in the crease and I'm really building it up and blending it out and building it up again to make it quite deep. Now I'm going to use a pigment because I haven't used a pigment in so long so I am using Copper by MAC and I'm going to wet my eyeshadow brush first and then apply it directly to my eyelid. Now I'm taking a deeper brown, this one here is by Anastasia Beverly Hills as well, it's called Fudge and I'm using a pencil brush to apply that to my outer V and I'm just building that up until I like the way it looks and I'm going back in with that firm blender brush and just blending that out and then once I've done that I'm actually going to take a little bit of fudge on this brush and apply it into my crease until the crease is nice and deep. Like a fiction, but I'm ready to see 
I'm just taking a little bit more of my lid color, the pigment, and applying a bit more just because I lost a little bit of the color when I was blending. And then I'm taking fudge on my outer corner, like on the lower lash line. And now for the eyebrows, I'm using Cabral and just applying that with an eyebrow groomer brush. And then just to finish off those eyebrows, I'm using Brow Tones in shade 2 by Benefit as well. I felt like intensifying my bronzer and contour and everything, so I'm using the Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D. And yeah, just chiseling out my cheeks and applying more bronzer to my forehead and stuff. And then on my cheeks, I'm using this Clinique blush. It looks so natural and flushed and beautiful in photos, so I'm really happy with that choice. As you stop me just a second. I started with this highlighter here, but then I decided I wanted something a little bit different, a little bit more like... I don't know, like metallic almost or lighter or something. So I actually went in with my Shenix O palette once again and that middle bottom color or middle top color I should say and just applying that right on top on my cheekbones. It's so intense. I also put a little bit on my inner corners and then I went back in with that matte color and put a little bit more on my brow bone. I loved this lip combination. I'm using Pony by Colourpop lip liner and then Beige Pop, the um, it's like the creamy matte pop lipstick or something like that by Clinique. Such a beautiful colour so I'm just lining my lips first and then filling in with the Clinique lipstick. Now to go back on my eye makeup, I'm starting with black eyeliner and I'm just doing a like quite a thick wing I guess. It's really thin on the inner corner and then gets really thick at the outer corner. For my lashes today, I'm reusing the Chic. This is like the third or fourth time I'm using those ones. And then I'm also using the Push Up Drama Mascara by Maybelline. And yeah, just applying those lashes right on there. Now I just went and got changed and then cleaning up all of that mess that I got on my face from the mascara, just with a cotton tip now that it's dry. Um, and then for my hair, I just wanted something quite subtle, like natural, but I didn't want straight, so I did some kind of waves. I'm just using a really big barrel and taking big sections and just, you know, curling away from my face towards my face, just kind of mixing it up and going randomly. But I just made sure that my front sections were curled away from my face. At this stage, I'm also kind of focusing on the bottom sections of my hair, like leaving the very root out, just so that it drops really naturally. And then at the end, I did go in and just curl some random bits of my roots to add a little bit of volume. Then I'm just repeating that process on the other side, um, curling away from my head and towards my head and just letting them kind of drop quite naturally so they just look like nice big waves. And then this is where I'm just kind of curling random sections away from my face and like the roots and stuff just to give a little bit more volume. And as you can see, I'm not holding the curls in for too long so I don't want them to be too defined. I just want a little bit of texture and a little bit of wave. Now just to finish off, I am kind of brushing out those curls and then I'm also teasing my hair just a little bit. Like not really thoroughly, I'm just using my, um, what are these friggin things called, I always forget, tangle teaser. I'm just using my tangle teaser to kind of create a little bit of volume and frizziness. And then I'm going in with some dry shampoo just to give a little bit more volume and just spritzing that in my roots and then just wiggling it around. And that's literally it. Um, and I think the outcome's quite nice. So much effort for something that looks so natural, right? Looks like I've just rolled out of bed or something, but anyway. And now I'm just touching up my eyeliner and touching up my mascara and stuff, making the finishing touches. You guys know how it is. And then 
I'm done. And now I can show you my outfit in a moment once I'm done posing. So my choker is from Misguided. My little ring that I'm wearing is from Pandora. Hamish got it for me for a present. It's so pretty. I love it so much. Um, my denim jacket is from Misguided. And so, no, wait, no, no. My white singlet is from Supre. And then the skirt is from Wild Pear, but Wild Pear's shut down now. I actually got it like a year or two ago so I'm so sorry so many people were complimenting it thank you so much I just don't know where you can get it now I'm so sorry I feel really bad um and my shoes are from cotton on like ruby shoes they're so comfortable as well they're such a good bargain so that's what I wore to the Mecca Maxima opening event launch party thingy. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the makeup and the hair and the outfit. Leave a comment for me to read down below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!